you are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Be honest about who you are. I'm going to tell you what. Let me tell you what, you know the biggest problem out here is people wearing masks. It really is. And I know this is just one of those things, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to hit people over and 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 over again about certain things. And one of the biggest issues out here is people wearing masks. See, here's the problem with the mask. When you put it on, you can go a certain, you can go a certain place. You can, you can do something because people think you one way. But then the problem is that mask doesn't it really hides the true self. Now, you like maybe you a person who could probably if you were your true self, you could probably make a million dollars. But that mask could get you to 70,000 and you'll think you're doing something, but not realizing by being your true self, you can you can go further. And that's just in a money sense or just a general life sense. But what about like as a mate? You know what? I've seen so many men and women lose out on the right mate because they ain't show their true face. They weren't honest about who they were. Like, I'm very clear about me. Rom likes comic books. (laughs) Rom Rom will go see certain movies. You know, Rom's going to go see, you know, the Equalizer this week. You know, I am who I am. You know, this is what I like. This is what I like to do. This is how I feel about certain things. Because my thing is this. If you're going to deal with me, you need to know me fully. Right? Now, I don't necessarily go out there and just start off the first conversation. Well, this is me, me, me. But I don't hide anything either. And if you ask the question, I'll tell you. You know? And it's like, even then, even without me telling you, you're going to see who I am. Just by how I walk, how I carry myself, you won't. I won't have to tell you. You can look at me and see who I am. People got to be that way because people, when they're not honest, they don't get what they want. They do not get what they want. How are they going to get it? You're not asking for the right thing. Whether you're talking to, you know, even when you're praying, if you're not honest about what you want, you know, whether you're praying to uh, Jesus, Buddha, uh, Confucius, well, I guess you ain't praying to Buddha or Confucius. Y'all know what I mean, though. The great pumpkin, Big Rom. You praying to any of those deities, right? Shoot, you're not going to get what you want. And they're going to be like, well, shoot, that's what you're asking for. I know you. that's not really what you want. Like, people want a certain thing in a mate, right? That's, that's, a, that's a big thing. Like, people will say, oh, I want, you know, you get some guys, right? Guys that do this especially. Oh, I want that. Uh, they'll say... Oh, I want that woman. She's going to be at home. She's going to cook and everything and all of that. And, you know, be just a, you know, prim and proper. No one, want, no one, no one, they want that Instagram hoe. Knowing it. Knowing it. Knowing they want her to come off the chandelier. They being dishonest with themselves. Right? They being dishonest. And they should just say, you know what? That's what I want. Then you get it. As long as you're willing to deal with the consequences of it, you know, you got some women, you know, they want, they know, they know they want a certain guy that look a certain way. It's not even a, like a handsome guy. It might be some guy that look like a frog, but they want that guy. But you know what? They ain't going to be honest about it. So they get what society say they should want and society say they should do. I knew a woman, shoot, she liked young boys. And I remember she said, you said, you know what, at some point. I'm going to get to the point I ain't going to care what everybody else think. I'm just going to go for it. Hey, you know what? Some people will judge her because she old, you know, older woman who likes some youngins. But, you know, I understand. I understand. You know, be honest about who you are. You got to be. You got to be authentic out here because I'm going to tell you what. When you're not authentic out here, you actually you actually causing your body harm because that's stressful keeping a mask on and keeping up appearances and wondering what the person see. Sometimes if you are wearing a mask 
and you're not honest, then you're around a person. You might even marry that person. You always look at, you always got to keep that mask up. You know, you always looking at what that person is saying and what they, you know, you always trying to figure out what they believe and everything. It was like, man, you don't need that kind of stress. Be looking at the person, be like, this is who I am. All right? Either deal with it or don't. If you don't want to deal with it, look, I respect it. But I'm not going to stress myself out wearing a mask and holding back. You know? That's one of the reasons I had to work for myself. Because, look, I'm up. I'm one of those people. I'm hard to follow somebody else's direction. <laughs> I might listen to you for some good advice. But I'm, I'm hard to do it. So I said, look, I can't be honest and say I can work on this job, got this supervisor, and not call them on their bullshit. Because <laughs> that's not me. That's not me. And, I, you know, you be seeing people do stuff, but that's me. That's me. I'm, I'm a boss. I'm a boss naturally. I'm, you know, sovereign nat- naturally. Right? That's who I am. As a result of being who I am, I was like, okay, this is what I got to do. See, when you're honest, too, and you're not trying to wear a mask, you're not trying to fit into somebody else's paradigm or even if it's just for survival, you that actually leads to success because then you can look at yourself and say, instead of making that 70000 wearing the mask, you can make that million because you're honest about what you like to do. You know? Because, look... I was honest with myself and was like, I can't really work for people, even if you're my friend. Because there's been people that offer me stuff and they were friends. I was like, dude, I can't work for you. <laughs> you know, I like the friendship, man. I, I can't work for you. I can't do this. I'm even hard to work around with people. That's hard as heck for me. But I got to be honest about it. I got to be, I have to be honest. You know, just say, look, this is me. At this point, you know, people could try to say, well, you could learn. It's like, no, this is me. It's like this only way we could work together. If you just say, I could do maybe a brief job for you or something, you know, provide you compensate me well. But, you know, I got to do my own thing. You know, and once you're honest, I'm going to tell you what, y'all ever, I'm going to think about it, y'all ever just come to a realization or a moment of clarity. And once you, it's like everything just makes sense. You're just at peace. You're not stressing over it, anything. You ain't having a headache behind it. That's that's honesty. Because that's all moment clarity is. You just take off that mask. You see something for what it is. You're honest about who you are and what you are. You know? It's like when people decide, hey, you know what? You know, this is the type of person I want. This type of person I want to be. This is what I want to get into. Once you're honest, you at peace. And it, it, it really goes me. Even though I use the money example, it goes beyond money. It really does. It goes beyond money. It's like, you know, with me, I'm going to use myself as an example. I always use myself, you know. I like, I'm, I be me being honest that I don't want to work for anybody. I'm actually making more money and have more income potential than I ever did in life. You know, because everything I do now is exactly what I want to do. Every single thing, every single thing, even when if I'm doing um, an article for somebody, it's still something I wanted to do. I wanted to be a writer, you know, and then even then with the writing, I can write whatever I want to write about. So that's powerful. Just being honest, honest. Look, when you're honest, everything lines up for you. When you're honest to say, look, this is me. This is what I want to do. You're honest. And then, you know, if you're dealing with other people, shoot, they they feel, they actually feel bad. You make them feel bad because they know exactly what they're dealing with. Now, they might not uh, like, depending on their agenda, they might not like it, but they can feel good knowing, okay, this person done told me what's up, you know? And I've even been in honest in relationships. There's been women I've told, look, all I want to do is have sex with you. And some were down, some weren't. But the ones who weren't, they were just like, you know what, thank you for being honest. The ones who were, Thank you for being honest. You know, didn't have to go through a lot of other stuff. So, I mean, look, that's the bottom line. Always just at least be honest about who you are. And you know how you do that? Because it's tough. At least start with yourself. Start with the person in the mirror. Look yourself in the mirror and say, this is who I am. And then build from there. Because it's tough taking off that mask. I, trust me, I understand that. Because most people have been conditioned to wear the mask. So... 
Anyway, that's it for today. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. Bye.